You now tuned into Difficult People Chronicles. I'm seriously focused, Johnny SF Johnny. Today's episode is called Four People You Need in Your Life. When we were younger, for some of you all, we was younger, younger, like elementary, younger, or high school, you know. You had certain types of people in your life. You had the one that, the friend that party hard. Always waking up late in the afternoon, like after four or five o'clock on a Saturday, but will party hard during the week or party hard on weekends. You had the friend that was just always in the streets. For some of you all, you had the friend that smoked 24-7. Some y'all might have had a friend that didn't have common sense. Some y'all had a friend that you just couldn't take advice from. Like, you knew not to take advice from that person. But for some reason, that person was the funniest friend you ever had because they always did something stupid. Some of you all had friends that were just geeky or nerds, but they didn't, uh, I wouldn't even say have common sense. They didn't, they had book knowledge and not street knowledge to know when not to do certain things or what they shouldn't do. As you got older, you realize something have to change in your life. So this episode is for people you need in your life. Because as you get older, the stakes get higher. You can no longer be around certain people. These people, because certain people will do more harm than good. So I'm going to give you my top four people. Number one, you need someone who is a veteran. A veteran My definition of a veteran is someone who is, has been through whatever, has the experience. They've been through certain things and they can tell you based off of their knowledge, giving you accurate information. Veterans also know how to pray. So they know when they see the enemy coming or the storm, they're going to educate you on what you need to do and tell you what verses to look for in the Bible and how to pray and what you should be saying. That's what you need, a veteran. Number two, you need an accountability partner, someone that's going to keep it real with you. Not a yes man, someone that's going to keep it real with you. You don't need someone that's two-faced, that's going to stroke your ego. You need an accountability partner because when the stakes get high, you're going to need to be responsible and own up to some of the things you do. Number three, you need that one person that's going to talk you off the ledge. And I'm just saying, for some of you all, when I say talk you off the ledge, I don't mean that you're going to jump. I feel like, well, this is just me. There's two types of people on that ledge. There's the one that's on the ledge that if you piss that person off, they're going to push you over. That's the one that has anger issues. Then you have the one that's so depressed that they want to jump. You need a person in your life that's going to talk you off that ledge. That when you get angry, they say the right things to calm you down. And they make you snap out of that anger mode and come back to reality. You need that person that when you're depressed, they know how to sit down. Sometimes they could be a veteran too, but they know how to pray for you or say the right things to lift your spirits. Number four, you need someone to list that's going to listen to you because sometimes you have people that you tell them your story, they tell you theirs, and then before long, they don't remember yours. <laughs> so then when you ask a question, they don't have no idea what you're talking about. Then you have to go through the whole story all over again. You need someone that's going to listen to you because sometimes, to be honest, like myself, I could have a situation and as long as I talk to someone about it or talk it out loud or whatever the situation is, I already have an answer for what I'm going to do. So I really don't need the advice or I kind of already know what I'm going to do. And I feel like these are the people that you need in your life when the stakes get high. And all four of these people in your life, when the stakes get high, they have to be authentic because If they are not real, then they ain't going to matter. Trust me, they're not going to matter. They'll say whatever they want that you want them to say. They need to be real because when the stakes get high and you make mistakes, it costs money. It costs time. 
you lose sleep and you lose patience so that's it for today hope that helps for one-on-one session hit me up email me for suggested topics check me out on youtube like subscribe click the notification check me out on facebook check out my store love me more love you more later